to add text to a circle in Silhouette, let's draw a circle first. And I'm going to hold down my shift key so that I get a perfect circle. Then I'm going to type some text. And I'm going to show you how to attach it to different areas of the circle. Very creative this morning. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm just going to use this to show you examples. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, and paste it because I'm going to also use it down at the bottom in different ways. So once you've got your circle on your screen, you write your text and you can double click it again. And you've got this little circle that you can drag to your circle, to, to the, to your circle, um, and attach it to your circle. You can then use this ascender to move the text further away or deeper into the circle. But look what happens to your text when you do that. You want to be careful about that, that it's not squished together too much. About there, it's still OK. And if you want to attach text to the bottom here, double click your text again to enable, it, enable the text and get this circle. Drag it over here. And then depending where you attach it on your circle, you need to play around with it a bit. There, I had it for a second. If it doesn't want to work, just keep working at it. Whoops. <laughs> you just need to keep dragging until you get it where you want it. And I want it to sit at this part of my circle. So I'm just going to drag it over now so that it's sitting on the, whoops. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You just got to play with it until you get it where you want it. This is maybe spaced out a little bit too much. So if I do move the ascender back up a bit, it's going to space it nicely for me. And then I can just bring this over here. And part of why it keeps adjusting is because of the text that's in there. If I add a couple of spaces, that will sometimes help. And let me bring it over to where I want it. I'll add a couple more. It's not something you see, but it, then it sits exactly where you want it on your circle. Again, if you need to change something, double click to activate this, this uh, feature. And then you can change things around. As you move it further away from your circle, notice that the spacing increases. So you can drag it until you like what you see. Same thing over here. Double click to activate this feature. And there you go. And so once you've done that, if you delete your circle, your text goes back to what it was. Don't know why this one didn't. That's kind of strange. I guess it converted it right away to a graphic element. Let's undo that. couple of times and go back to where the top was attached to the circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text and I'm going to convert it to a path, which makes it an object. And you can no longer edit the text. If I double click, I don't get that ascender and the little circle here. And I cannot change the actual text because this is now a graphic element. You can move it around, you can resize it and different things, but you can't change the text. So I'm going to undo until we get back to where it was on top of the box, but it's been converted to an element. Now I can drag away the circle. This is attached to it. I'm going to see what happens when I delete the circle. That's what's supposed to happen. The software is a little strange. Sometimes it does things right and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so let's say if I wanted to keep this the way it is, after removing the circle. You don't have to remove the circle, but sometimes it's easier. You don't want to think about having to change this cutting line if it's in the, set up as a cutting line. So right click and cut the circle. It did it again. It's so strange. It's acting differently every time. So I'm going to undo that. <laughs> undo. I'm going to select the text, convert to path, 
Now I know that whatever I do with this, it will stay in a circle shape, but it's not text anymore. Then I can delete this circle. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.